Another ship full of lithium-ion batteries is on fire up by Alaska. The Genius Star 11 was transporting 800 metric tons of lithium-ion batteries from Vietnam to San Francisco. At 4.40 a.m. December 28, 2023, they discovered a fire on board. This vessel is 410 feet long and has two cargo holds. Each cargo hold has an upper and lower section. Now, after the fire was reported, crews dumped the entire CO2 suppression system into the cargo hold, and they kept that cargo hold sealed up. It's important to note that CO2 will not extinguish a lithium-ion battery fire. However, it will extinguish all the packaging around those lithium-ion batteries. And depending on how they're packaged, depending on how things are separated within the packaging, the other packages, the other crates, this could stop the fire. If you're not familiar, the shipping industry uses CO2 as their primary means of fire suppression. While many ships do have onboard hoses, pumps, crews available to fight fire with water, CO2 is preferred. But again, it won't extinguish a lithium-ion battery fire. The ship was moved into the harbor and moored away from people, away from other boats, as a safety precaution. They currently have a one-mile safety radius around the vessel. The Resolve Pioneer, a salvage and emergency response vessel, is nearby helping with the situation. The fire was reported out on December 31st, and as of January 2nd, the unified command structure was still in place, which means the emergency was still technically going on. However, they report that there's no hazard, there's no fire, there's no hazardous atmosphere as of now. This fire completely emptied their CO2 suppression system, so as of January 4th, the crews were working to refill that CO2 system and get it back online. That means they have to remove, refill, and replace 153 CO2 bottles to make sure that system's back online and everything's safe. Now, early on in the incident, the Coast Guard did fly around the vessel. They took thermal images, but if you look at this image right here, you can see some heat towards the stern of this vessel. It seems to be a lot cooler towards the bow. I'm not an expert on ships, but likely what we're seeing here is due to the fire. There are 19 crew on board. Thankfully, there are no injuries, no structural damage to the ship, no blistering. And once this investigation is complete, once they've deemed everything is safe, hopefully this can make its way down to where it needs to go and be offloaded properly. If you want to learn more about Thermal Runaway, click this link right here.